Hello, Virgo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 14th of August. Mercury, your ruler, has now, if you tuned in last week, you'll know, gone into a retrograde. And through to the end of this month, you could find yourself being a bit frustrated if things don't work out exactly as you first hoped. Now, at the very end of August and going into September, Mercury, fruit of the 5th, is going to be rotating backwards in the sign of Leo. And then it's going to come back to you on the 10th of September, and then by the 19th, returns to the position where it began. What I want you to do, essentially, is to think about whatever processes you're going for, or whatever expectations you've got, in a bit more of a global way. One of your great strengths is that you grapple with details pretty well better than any other zodiac sign. One of your challenges is to keep seeing the big picture. So if obstacles do come up or there are frustrations, try to just think, well, actually, maybe this is meant to be. I think when you get around to the third week of September next month, it will all start to make a lot more sense, hopefully because there are going to be a lot of clashes between planets in Virgo in September and Neptune, which brings us to the next part of this week's story. Because Mercury is not only twisting backwards, it's in opposition to Neptune. Now, Neptune, for you, since 2012, has been very much an influence on your relationships and your identity in the way that you grapple with competitiveness and interactions with others. I think the opposition between Neptune and Mercury can be just as corrosive to clarity as Mercury's retrograde itself. So if you are discussing anything, it's so important to be really clear about what you want to say and also how you say it, and then check what the other person feels they've heard, and then you can help to overcome the potential for any kind of uh, confusion. But this is also a week when Venus continues for you in a very friendly part of your horoscope. But just how friendly are you with one person? You might be about to find out because Venus is in opposition with the very deep and transformational energies of Pluto. It's possible that someone in your circle actually has the hots for you a lot more than you're appreciating. Then again, perhaps you're totally aware of who I'm referring to and it's coming from you too. But if there is some kind of relationship that's tempting you, and particularly if you're already in a relationship, then just be aware that Pluto can give us a desire, a need, which is so, so high, but it's also very difficult to resist. And that might put you in a situation where someone's uh, motivations are not entirely honourable, or maybe you're going to go against your own values simply because... The draw is so great. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen in an actual way. It could happen. The choice is always down to us. The planets don't make us do anything. But this week, of course, the sun is continuing its journey in an area which is very much to do with the more spiritual, psychological side of life. And in some ways, it's asking you to sum up what you've been achieving over the last 12 months. It's a time, therefore, of reflection, potentially. But Mars is in this area as well. And Mars in the 12th solar house can be quite chaotic. One minute, upbeat, bright, and the next minute we can feel suddenly very angry about something, and the next minute, quite tearful. So your emotions generally could be a bit more volatile, particularly around the issue of trust. But ironically, Mars is forging an absolutely fantastic link to Jupiter, the planet of growth and opportunity. And it may be that something linked to someone you used to know, perhaps through work, perhaps through a more social context, you're going to discuss something which can have some kind of financial benefit to you. But you may want to keep it to yourselves for now, but it really can excite you. And you may put some plans in motion that are going to emerge once the sun moves into your sign later this month. But for now, this is a time when you may, especially with Venus in opposition to Pluto, be wanting to sort the wheat from the chaff in terms of who are the really sincere players in your world. With Neptune shifting and shimmering and moving around 
as she is, just be conscious that whatever you say could in some ways be received differently, or you may receive something from someone else that may not be as they mean or as they say. And by the end of this week, of course, there is a solar eclipse. And therefore, this psychological energy that can help you to become so much more aware of your deeper subconscious needs over the next six months is really going to burst into the open. But it forges a link with Uranus, which is in your sector of shared resources. So I think you need to keep quarrying away deep within yourself because that's where a lot of material, insights, knowledge and talent is still stored away. So even if there are some situations or issues which seem challenging and seem to be coming from outside of you, I do feel the solutions may lie in a greater understanding of yourself and how you can react to any external challenges going forwards. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.